Hey guys, uh, welcome to your general reading. Uh, what is your shadow work, your shadow side for Scorpio? Uh, this is going to be for December 2021. Uh, sun, moon, rising, Venus signs. Um, you could also apply this to your Jupiter. Um, so we are going to take a look at what your shadow side is, what your shadow work is. We all have it. We're going to see how you can best navigate through it. Um, so, uh, feel free to apply this to your own unique situation. Um, I might be speaking on, uh, from your perspective, but, you know, it could be something that you're going through or someone that you know that's going through. So just feel free to, to apply this to your own unique situation. Keep in mind that this is just a general read. Um, so we're going to take a look and see what your shadow work, shadow side is. Um, yeah, I think I said that. Uh, before we get started, if you guys haven't done so yet, uh, hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post. Give this video a thumbs up. Like this video so that this message can circulate around to the individuals that need to hear this. Share this video with someone if you feel like there's someone out there that you know that needs to hear this. Leave a comment down in the comment section below if this message resonates. For those of you guys that are interested in booking a private personal reading with me, the link is in the description box below. All right, Scorpio, let's get started here. All right, we're going to pull some oracle cards and then we'll clarify it with the uh, tarot. All right, what messages do we have for Scorpio here regarding their shadow side, their shadow work? What is their shadow side and shadow work for December 2021, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs? Let's see what this one says. Oop, oopsie. All right, moving on. You're emotionally walking away from something here. Yeah, love abounds. You're walking away from love. So maybe your heart chakra is closed. Maybe you have a hard time receiving love or giving love. Maybe it's because you don't love yourself. I mean, we have this three of pentacles here. And I feel like someone here is having trouble maybe connecting with someone emotionally because of the trauma that they have been through in life. I mean, this trauma could be, you know, in regards to an unhealthy relationship that you've been in here. Uh, perhaps it's in regards to your childhood. Uh, let's see what else we have here. see what this one says okay all right take inspired action full moon and virgo could be dealing with the virgo in the present or in the past here you might have virgo on your chart new moon and leo shine could be dealing with the leo here you might have leo in your chart let's see what else we have here what else do we have here uh regarding scorpio and their shadow work their shadow side here what else do we have for scorpio see what this one says discipline i can't accomplish what i set my mind to pride i love myself and i see myself in everyone maybe pride and ego might be getting in the way of you accepting new love too because there's this energy of walking away and i feel like someone can't help themselves I mean, with discipline, I feel like, you know, discipline could, you know, take be taking time out for yourself and really meditating on it. You know, I just feel like someone here might be dealing with something that they never dealt with before regarding their emotions, regarding their pain. Um, so let's see what else we have here. Tell me about moving on. Why is moving on here? So this is the after tarot. So it might look a little different. I wanted to give this a try. This is the first time I'm using this deck. All right, let's see what we have here. So we have the Empress here in the Six of Pentacles. Libra, Taurus energy. You might have Libra, Taurus in your chart. Um, could be dealing with the Libra, Taurus past or present here. You know, Scorpio, I just really feel like you have trouble really giving to people. You know, I'm feeling like 
you know, there's this energy of being generous and kind with other people, but not to yourself here. Tell me about take inspired action. Why is inspired action here? Five of Swords in the Sun. Could be dealing with the Leo. You might have Leo in your chart. You know, we have that new moon in Leo. That's too many. I thought there was two here. There's like five. Tell me about discipline. Why is discipline here? Tell me about discipline. Why is discipline here? Three of Wands and the Four of Cups. And then we have the Knight of Swords here. This is an interesting Knight of Swords. Look at how this Knight is actually trying to impale this other person with their sword. I mean, this could be a representation that we have someone here that is scared of being hurt. Perhaps even physically. Three of Wands and the Four of Cups here. I feel like they're, I feel like with Discipline, Three of Wands and the Four of Cups here, I feel like when someone here sets their mind to something, with the Four of Cups, you know, I mean, this person's pouring out their cup. They don't feel accomplished though. I just feel like someone's heart is not really into, you know, um, pursuing their goals here, I feel. I mean, that could really stem back from to this. I mean, this is in red. This represents your root chakra. Reach out. So I feel like someone here is not even reaching out to anyone for help. I feel like someone here has so much pride that, you know, someone feels like they could do everything themselves, which is not true. Sometimes we do need that outside perspective, that outside help to give us the tools to navigate through uh, some of these life situations. Uh, tell me about the Empress and the Six of Pentacles here. All right, we have the King of Swords here. So Libra, Taurus, uh, Libra, Taurus, uh, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini energy. Why is this Five of Swords in the Sun here? And the Six of Wands. I mean, you're trying to, f I mean, I feel like you're trying to fight for yourself here. I feel like you're trying to be victorious in what you're trying to do. You know, I'm feeling like there's this energy where you feel like you were never noticed before. And maybe people are noticing you now and you're not used to it. Maybe people are giving you the attention that you've been looking for, but you're not used to it. I'm feeling like someone here feels a bit jaded here. Yeah. Someone here feels a bit jaded, like nothing really ever goes well in someone's life, even if they try. Three of Wands, Four of Cups, and the Hermit here, Virgo energy. Yeah, I feel like someone here has tried everything. I don't know. I mean, with that Hermit here, maybe, you know, someone here is trying, or that, you know, someone here is just scared of being alone. Scared that, you know, if they're alone, they're going to be bitten by a snake or eaten by this wolf. Look at this hermit card in this after tarot. So the after tarot is a little different. So that's why, you know, the reads might come off a little weird because I'm going off based on the image too, not based on, you know, uh, you know, the, the meanings of the cards, but, you know, I read intuitively. So, you know, there are times when I read, I don't go by the meanings. I just go by what I see, what I feel, the colors, um, King of Swords. What else do we have here for uh, Scorpio? We have the Three of Pentacles here. So this is also the Three of Pentacles energy here too. So because this represents safety, safety around money too, safety around the home. 
So there's this energy of not asking for help. It seems like we have, we might have a person here that's willing to help you with this Empress because there's a generous energy, but uh, I feel like you're not taking it. You're not taking it because, because of pride. Six of Wands. The star. Someone here might be in the public eye here with the Six of Wands and the star card. I don't know. I feel like someone here is on social media, perhaps, you know, getting a lot of attention because they can't get that, you know, in their personal life or something like that. I mean, like I said, this could stem back all the way to childhood. The Eight of Wands. What else do we have here? We have the Hangman here, Piscean Energy. This is an interesting thing, man. Look at that. Look at this person um, feeding this hangman water. And then we have the emperor here, Aries energy. Could be dealing with an Aries here. You might have Aries in your chart. I just feel like someone here refuses to get any sort of help here. Even though this person seemingly seemingly needs it because there's trauma here. We have the Four of Pentacles. And look how this looks like the Death card. I mean, this person is very, very, very... Um, I would say scared. This person's scared to get help. I feel like this person really wants it. With the same wands here, look at that. I mean, this person is shooting an arrow here. So I don't, I don't know if this person is trying to get people's attention, but I feel like once this person gets someone's attention, this person really want it. All right, let's see. Eight of Cups. Whoever this is, this person, I feel like this individual might be very difficult. I feel like it's a situation where someone here notices or people notices they come to help. When they come to help, we have someone here that pushes someone away and then this person's wondering why. People are walking out of their life with the Queen of Wands here. I don't know, someone here might have mother issues or father issues here. Like I said, this stems from this. So it's like someone here has a good, th always has good things coming towards them, but they push it away in terms of people coming in to sort of uh, support them or help out in a way. So Scorpio, I hope this resonated. I hope this uh, was helpful. If it was, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Share this video, like this video. If you haven't done so yet, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I will speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks. Bye.